going on on this very day, Wednesday, June 8th? Woo! To God be the glory for yet another day. God can do anything. I don't know if you are under some pressure. You have projects. I have three major projects that are going on. No, actually four. In the next four or five days, a presentation this evening, then two productions, and then graduation and something else. And we know this year, this time of year can be a lot where everybody else is packing up and they're ready to go. Woo, it's just beginning. But listen, you might not have the specific duties or projects that I have. You might have something pressing on you and your shoulders and you're feeling pressure. But listen, that first song that I played, I remember this from my primary elementary years. And I was in junior church at a church in the suburbs in Harvey, Illinois. Someone taught it to me, turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. That matter, that situation, turn it over to Jesus and you can smile the rest of the day. I'm telling you, it's a simple song, but when I started doing that, whoo, the Lord reminded me, I haven't thought about that song ages, but it comes back to you. Train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. Even those teachings, the sisters, yeah, went on to their reward, but that what they planted remains in the hearts of people who are getting older themselves. So don't give up. Keep on planting seed and uh, you will see or they will have a harvest. You will not sometimes realize that, but you keep on doing the will of the Lord and um, harvest will come. Amen. Ezekiel 28 I am a God. I sit on the seat of God. Now, we know that our Father God is creator and ruler of every circumstance. But there was judgment for Tyrus because his heart was lifted up in verse 2 where he said, I am a God, small g. I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas. Yet, the Lord is saying, thou art only a man and not God. You're in control of nothing. So whatever project, that's what I'm saying. Turn it over to your heavenly father. And it says in verse three, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. He was thinking like, you know, he had all that. No, Daniel even humbled himself and acknowledged the Lord when he interpreted dreams. He was saying, I can't do anything. It's my heavenly father who will give interpretations and witty inventions and revelation. Blessed be the name of God ever and ever for wisdom and might are his, Daniel 2.20 says. So we can't, we can't rely on our intellect and our resources. But when we turn it over to Jesus, when we leave it there and don't touch it and listen for his counsel and his might and his revealing and his guidance, Oh, we could do anything. So that's why we can declare Psalms 8 because of today's date. It says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Not our own name. We're not trying to get accolades and get likes and, you know, woo, woo, be in the light and the, the camera and the action. No, it says that you are the one who has set thy glory above the heavens and out of the mouth of babes children coming up if you're working with little ones there are the ones and sucklings has thou ordained strength because of thine enemies we could do all things through his power that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger when we consider the heavens the work of thy fingers the moon the stars which thou has ordained what is man how can you think of us oh puny us that you are mindful of him or her and the son of man that thou visitest. Yes, thou madest us to have dominion over the works that the Lord has created, the works of thy hands. Thou has put all things under our feet. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name. That's why we could go and do great things today 
and we feel like going on, though trials come on every hand, we know that the power of God is within us and we can do all things. Thank you, Father, for reviving us. Thank you, Father, for strengthening us. Thank you, Father, for giving us power and might to do great things today. We rely on you and we turn over everything to you and we know that you will have your perfect will be accomplished because we rely on you and we trust in you with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.